Uh, hello YouTubers. I haven't made an update in a very long time. Um, I've just been really, really lazy. I've neglected this channel. I'm really sorry. It, um, well, you probably don't care, but um, I've got a quite quite a bit of important news that's happened. That's about things have happened since uh, since I last made a video. Um, firstly, most importantly, tomorrow I'm heading off to do um, to Iceland for a year to do. Firstly, a 20-day language course, which is held up in Nupur, which is like the um, which is like northwest, um, just just about 40-minute drive away from the fjords um, up there, and so that's going to be good. That's going to be that's going to get me used to um, speaking Icelandic kind of slower, uh, as everybody else will. Um, and then then I've got pretty much a year. Uh, I'd say uh, probably about 10 months, really nine months. Um, at the University of Iceland, uh, learning geography and things, uh, all in English, but um, but the, the main thing is I'm going to be in Iceland, so I'm going to be learning properly. Um, yeah, um, what else? I uh, came back from a three, from a three-week holiday, uh, which involved a, a week in Iceland um, recently. It was... Sorry, the train coming by. I think that might be loud. I'm in a park. Um, okay, yeah, um, that was basically through Germanic Europe, went down to Belgium, um, Germany for a night, um, Denmark, then the Faroes for about, uh, like three or four nights, I think, um, and then Iceland, uh, for about a week, and then, um, and then came back, so we went on the, uh, the, it's called the Nordöner Ferry, um, it's a Danish ferry that goes up, no, actually, the Faroese ferry, um, another train, Jesus, um, yeah, uh, so that was good. I got I got used to um, after, after about two days in Iceland, I got used to I got kind of a bit more used to the accent. I could just understand a lot of, a lot of what what um, people were saying around me. Um, even managed to have a drunken, well, I wasn't drunk, but the guy was drunk. Conversation um, with a guy up in Akureyri. Um, uh, I also got used to the. the I also learned a tiny bit about the by the differences between uh, Faroese and Icelandic. Um, it's mainly uh, largely pronunciation and also um, quite a bit of vocabulary. I actually got a book um, which teaches Faroese people uh, how to um, how to learn Icelandic. Uh, so it's basically just all stories. It's about, about, it's about 100 pages of stories, so I, I might show it to you, you guys in a bit. Um, so it's handy. Um, if you, it, it's, it's handy if you're learning Icelandic because it's basic. Uh, and also it's and if you've got a passing interest in fairies, um, yeah, it's nice. Um, what else? Oh, there's another train. There's like three trains come by in about, uh, about a minute. There. Um, what else? Uh, yes, I've also uh, decided on another language to learn. Um, finally settled on one. Uh, I've been cycling through whatever, like Finnish, went on my German, uh, German language course at uni. Um, which was which was pretty good in the first month, in, sorry, in the first semester, and then second semester I didn't really like the teacher, so I kind of switched off. Um, yeah, uh, so I've been through Germ uh, German, tiny bit of Finnish, um, a bit of Irish. I still want to learn some Irish. I'm taking my Irish books uh, to Iceland with me, um, but I've settled on I've settled on wanting to learn Hindi properly, um, partially because it's it's um, got a, um, well. It'll be my first different script to learn. I've been learning it for about two days, and I've got maybe half of half of the um, the alphabet done. Um, and also um, because I just want to learn a lot more about India, I want to uh, I'd like to go there sometime. Um, and you know, uh, Hindi is the lingua franca of in, of, um, of India. Like eighty percent of the population are Hindu. Um, so I, th I, th I feel it's very very important to learn that, uh, t to learn Hindi if I want to go there. Um, couple of things about the script. Um, I quite like the way there's um, there's two forms of each vowel, uh, depending on whether it's an um, it's an open consonant starting with a sorry an open syllable starting with a consonant uh, like uh, ka or ta, um, or and whether it's a um, whether it's just um, a vowel starting on its own um, like r. Um, so the r will be a large uh, the r with like a it looks like a three with a dash and then a line down, um, and um, but when R is put after say K, uh, it will be you'll have the you'll have the K, 
uh, symbol and then you just have the line down at the end to, in to indicate R. So there's a shorter version of each vowel um, if it's kind of grouped with a consonant. Uh, there's also things like there's um, the uh, there's also like conjuncts, which are combinations of a couple of consonants, um, which is just basically like shorthand. It feels like shorthand um, versions of instead of writing all the consonants and having to indicate that you're not putting in that you're not putting a vowel afterwards. Um, it just kind of like shorthand combine the two consonants, um, and there's special cases for each um, depending on um, depending on the situation where you're writing r the R, the R sound. Um, so yeah, sorry, I've rambled on a bit with that. Um, but yeah, so, summary. Um, Iceland, Icelandic language course, um, holiday, also into Iceland, and I'm about to start learning Hindi. I might start putting some vid some um, videos and maybe pictures, I don't know, a blog, to, a blog for pictures maybe, um, of my time in Iceland. Um, I'm going to get used to Reykjavik pretty quickly because I've got about 14 days of living in hostels there um, so I'm sure I'll be able to give a good summary of, of the best restaurants uh, best snack restaurants in in in, um, in the main streets within about a week <laughs> uh, okay goodbye